everybody. It's Birdie with Ori. And we're going to do a feeding with her new bottle. Yep, I got my I got my morning dose of my bottle too. <laughs> Iced coffee, hot coffee, long as it's coffee. I don't drink it every day though. It's not good for me. Hey boo boo. Does she drink a bottle every day? And again, I don't have many bibs, so we do use Disney bath cloths. Oh no, we're not gonna do that. Go lay down. I'm sitting right next to the puppy, so they can't have they can't be doing all that. So you turn that down so they don't bark at it. Go lay down, Rob. Yes, I have my my pound puppies here. Yes, we do. And she's gonna have she's not gonna drink all of this. She's gonna have this little bottle of Pedialyte because she woke up with a little bit of an upset stomach. And I called a pediatrician and he said if her fever wasn't too high to give her a little bit of Pedialyte. So and if you can see it, it's look a little a little bit light, light purple. And that's nothing but um washable marker. I put like a little I dipped it in the bottle. If I could get this bottle open, oh my goodness. I didn't get enough of my coffee yet. Wow. I'm making a mess already. And this is her new look bottle. And I'm just going to give her a little bit because I have fed her some testing other bottles out. So she is a little wet already. And she did the little burping sound that she always do with this bottle. Rocky, stop it. Now lay down. Stop it. You're doing too much. I said stop. Lay down. Be a good boy. I'm not going to hold a conversation with you. What's on your nose? You got a little boogie? You got a little boogie? Yesterday I was doing my bed. She was on it. Looked like I got some dust or something on her. When I put my sheets, you got some dust? Hmm. This boy is not listening. Oh, and this bottle right here, this one I am not um, going to use for Ori. I do not like it. The nipple part is hard, but the big bubble part of it is really, really soft. And it just, I don't like the way it feels. So I'm not going to use that for her. I tried it on um, Thea, and it wouldn't even really go in her mouth all that great because of the softness of it. So I may put some lube on it and try Thea again. But if not, worst case scenario, it'll work perfect for the other uh, silicones that don't drink. Because even if you push it to their face and the nipple don't go all the way to their mouth, it smashes to their face like they're drinking. And that's fine as long as it's sealed. Cause I only I have um I have a couple of my reborns over here. I have three of them, two in one car seat, a premium, a newborn, uh Tasha in the home kit is in one car seat. And I have the Cheyenne, not the Cheyenne, the Chanel kit in the other car seat. I do not prefer the Cheyenne kit at all. But yeah, little mama here is gonna have her bottle and then I'm gonna get her dressed. And I'm going to put her on some sleepers. I have to run some errands. I've been running errands quite a bit this since the new year came in. I really like this bottle. Mima turned me on to these Nook bottles with her. And I've been loving them ever since. Like the Nook nipples. I mean, she can take other nipples, but I prefer the way the Nook go. And I would love Playtex, but Playtex don't make the orthopedic nipples. And Playtex, it goes, their nipples are soft somewhat. I haven't gotten the flat flat nipples because they cost too much. But that might work well with Thea. 
I would like to try it one day just to see how it looks. But I also do the disappearing milk bottles with the Playtex and the ones with the bag. So I'm not really concerned with giving it to my drinking wets because I make it look like the ones, you know, the other ones having a drink, they're like they're really drinking their bottle. It's so weird to do a video in this den and not get distracted from my video to the fish tank. <laughs> kind of crazy. The both of both my, well, I have my dogs in here because my puppies, they stay in a giant cage and my daughter dog stays over there. So I have three Yorkies in here, a giant fish tank and my babies in this room. So when I'm in here, it's a little distracting. Uh-oh, what am I feeling? Oh, that's my bracelet. She's drinking this nicely. And I keep touching underneath the bath cloth to see if she's drooling. I didn't feel any drool. I did not take her to the doctor with me yesterday. And I'm glad I didn't because it took me all of five minutes to be in there. It seemed like definitely 30 minutes I was out. And, the, and they didn't care that I was late. Nobody else was there really, but but me. She is drinking this bottle so well. I think she likes her new baba. You're not playing with this one, huh? And she has a newborn diaper on, so I gotta be careful. The only thing is about this is that I do have to burp her. And if I don't, we will be making a mess on mom. Right? When I go to change her. Ugh. Hey, boo boo. And being she has a, a reservoir in her stomach, burp for her just gives her stomach time enough to, you know, release some, some of the fluid so it can hold more. Like a real baby would. Right, Baker? That's mama baby. And she's not drooling at all. I was going to put her on a sleeper that I love her in. And that sleeper I actually had for my 15 year old when she was small, about five months old. She was, um, I'm looking to see where the top of the, the hole at on this nipple. And she looks like that, that, that child, like my own. It was funny because I put her in a sleeper and then I was like, wow, you know, and accidentally she looks a lot like my 15 year old at this age. And I put a picture side by side and sent it to a couple of people and they were amazed. I won't put it up here. But if you um, know me personally, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's so relaxing to feed her. I think I made this hole perfect. And that's the key is um, if they're drooling too much, maybe the hole is too big. You just gotta remember to look at how much, how fast they swallow. If they, you know, if they swallow fast, then it is fine to have a decent sized hole because it's just gonna come out fast. So I wouldn't really want a large hole regardless because I wouldn't want it just to full of pamper up immediately. Because real babies don't do that. It just takes a longer time to feed. Like she's always been a picky eater and it's always taken me a, a minute to feed her. 
She's so nosy. Gotta see everything. I have to give her a rinse off and rinse out her hair because I see a, a glitter piece now. It's from this outfit, I believe, because it's not red. It's like a greenish blue. Yeah, like this twig looks probably. That's in her outfit. And she's going to wear a peach little sleeper. The only thing I don't like about the peach sleeper is it's a short sleeve. But I have a blanket that I'm probably going to wrap her up in anyway. Right, Thinker? And I was looking at my pampers. And this pamper, I like the cheap pampers too. Because they come with different prints. And it's not like it's a real baby. So I never liked the cheap pampers because real babies... You know, they get rash and irritations and whatnot. And I'm feeding her too fast. Does she drool? Just a teeny bit. Hopefully her temperature don't go up anymore. I meant to um, bring the thermometer so I could check it. But I'm not going to check it now. After she wake up from her nap, I'll check it. And this nipple here I like because, I don't know if you can see, like right here on the top, it's super soft right here on this little piece. Let me see if you can see it. You can see that little circle part? That is super soft. And so it's like when I'm feeding her, it's not like rubbing up against her. That, that piece caves in and pushes the um, water out. Mm -hmm. That's some good stuff, ain't it? Yes, it is. I love to hear that burp when I move her like that. Don't spit on me. Boy, think it don't, don't spit up on that mom. Don't spit up on that mama. You're not gonna spit up on that mama, are you? And see, this bottle lets her drink super slow. And I may just change her while we're doing this instead of feeding her so. Because I'm gonna enjoy this feeding. And see, boo Hopefully I could change her there. But I have brought this pamper in. This is here is um, one of the them green bag of pampers, comfort something. I like these pampers. They feel like they're soft to the touch. This is a size one. And they got little sleeping bumblebees on it, I believe. Yeah, little sleeping bumblebees with wings. So cute. And I'm put her little white socks on with her white hat. You know, we got to go back to our hats, boo-boo. Your beautiful hair, yes. And she's going to wear this here little zero to three with the leggings. I really don't like her arms out right now because it's cold. So she may put that sleeper on later on. And I'm not going to um, be able to dress her up there. So, well, I should be able to. <laughs> Look at you slouching. Look at you slouching, thinker. Sit up. Let's take your little pants off. So you guys can see her yes. Let's take a little pants off. Take a little pants off. Take a little pants off. <laughs> you look funny like that, Ari. 
Look like you about to pout or something. Throw, you gonna throw a temper tantrum because you're sitting over there and not on my lot? And we're gonna take these little boots, these little socky boots. Come on. Such beautiful veining she has. I love that little vein right here. These are your, your body is cold, mom. Yeah. See, I like putting socks on her like this that I could stretch all out real wild like. And they go right back. Yeah. These are definitely gonna keep her warmer. I do that because when I wash them, sometimes they get little lint colors in there that I don't fancy so right before I put them on I'll stretch them all out Look at that way these are not tight around her leg at all and they wouldn't be tight around a real baby's legs Glitter girl is what your little name gonna be. Yeah, because mommy keep putting stuff on you with glitter and didn't wash it yet, and I know how I don't like that. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day so far. I'm gonna have a great day. Regardless of what anybody out there do once I go out there to handle business. Look at this girl. Really? Really, Ori? <laughs> mm. Let me just fold this up. Give her some back cushion so she don't slouch. But she's such a butterball. Yeah, there she goes. She's looking better now. So she sink right into that hole, like ball right up. You gonna ball right up and go to sleep? Huh? Let's see. She has on this little car's diaper still, which is a little bit wet. Cause she will, being that I just fed her, she will wet again later probably. And this shirt I'm taking off was a newborn, but it was a stretchable newborn. I did not put tight clothes on her if I could help it. And I could always help it because she, you know, ain't like she's growing out of her stuff and I don't have nothing to put on her. Let's put this tea on you. You know what? Let's just see. I'll check and see if she got anything left to pee. You got anything left to pee, little boo-boo? Hmm? She may. We're going to change a little pepper. And I was going to put a Christmas diaper on her because I left one out. Cause it was on a um, shelf in the, in the bedroom. I was like, oh, let me put this one on her, get it out my system. But you know what? I don't care if it's July. I'll be putting Christmas diapers on her. Cause if it was a real child, uh oh, I wouldn't um. If you don't want to see girly parts, please look away or click out the videos. And you're still peeing. You're still peeing, little girl. Yes, she is. Okay, so we're gonna do this real quick. <laughs> do it real quick. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. We don't need no help down here. Mommy got this. Mommy got this. Hey, slouch it, boo. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess I forgot all about you guys messing with her. 
I get caught up sometimes. Right? You say it's a good thing because you're supposed to enjoy me, Mom. Only going to be small for a little bit. Your hair is getting messed up. But a hat is going on it. I should have um, showed you guys her back when it wrinkles up. But with this shirt, I probably still could. Now, I'm holding her hand up, but I'm not pulling on it. If you're not sure. I never pull on her. I always pull on the clothes. Even if I hold up a limb, I'm holding it up with support. And this is a size three months. And these pants and outfit. I'm getting excited. Doll show is in this year. It's not even a year. It's maybe not even six months. I gotta look up the date again because I've actually forgot what date it is. To be sure, because I had the um, one in North Carolina date down in my head so well, but I know it changed this year. I think it's still June or July. I know it's one or the other, but I gotta make sure I find out whether or not it's ju July or June because if it's June, then I have less time to get prepared for whatever fees I gotta pay. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. All cozy and warm. Where your hat go? Oh, it's over there. Where I'm gonna lay on mommy lap. I should have brought the brush over here. Because when I did that, I'm going to have to fix her hair. But it looks good. Because it's coming forward. She's some work, I tell you. Because if you never hold a real baby before, she is some work. That's one thing I don't like about coming in here. Is that... Um, my Yorkies, they tend to shed, and I don't be in here like that, especially with my babies. Not at all. But yes, I gotta get prepared for the doll show. In fact, I need to um start seeing what clothes I want them to wear, and it out the twins are not coming this year i think um i want to bring luna but i know i'm bringing ori so luna and ori don't really go together because luna is so independent and big up and look ori is so babyish and i could put her in a carrier on the front of me and be just fine for the rest of the day and luna i definitely can't and i have to keep up with her because she gets into everything you want some more of this babas? Hmm? No? Okay. I'm going to save it. Yep. Because you're going to get your fluids in today. Yes, you are, little miss. I'm going to try to run a temperature. I'm trying not to go. I wanted to go to the mall and do a feeding. I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that. So, I don't need to go to the mall. That's one thing I need to not do. <laughs> I see her little hair on the hat. But thanks for watching. I say thanks for watching. Mommy just was rambling a little bit. Yeah, I gotta get my water tape. So, so thanks for watching. I don't know, girl. You should come with me today. I keep saying it, but I know you can't go where I'm going. Not today. Thanks for watching. See you later, auntie, uncles, and cousins. Say, mm -hmm.